This is a new day. Not because the calendar changed. This is a new day because I'm changing. You're changing. We are developing something unique here. It's an atmosphere. When you come to and you hear a message like this, when you put yourself under these type of words and you hear the, the surroundings of people who believe like you believe, iron will sharpen iron. The problem is most of us have been putting ourselves in an environment where iron has been going against wood. Think strategic all the time. Before any action or any inaction, ask yourself this question. Is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? Will this action move me toward the strategic long-term goals I am trying to achieve in my life? And do not lie to yourself. You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you have time, you have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Like at a certain point, like eliminate the outcome. Stop being driven by rewards. Stop being driven by outcomes. Stop being driven by, if I get this, I'm gonna do this. Just work. And if you don't get what you thought you were gonna get, show up and still go to work. What's more important, what you acquire or who you become? The longer we stay around wood, being superior in a place when we've already outgrown it, we will become dull. And when the opportunity comes, when something fresh, someone new, someone that reminds us of what we used to be, someone that had the passion, someone that had purpose on themselves comes, you'll see iron again and you won't be able to give them what they can give you. You can miss a moment because you don't sharpen yourself against iron. Iron must always seek out iron, must always seek out an opportunity. A lot of people think what they acquire is the thing that makes them who they are. No, it's who you become in the process of chasing what you want to acquire, right? Change expectation for appreciation. That didn't turn out the way you want them to turn out. But most importantly, man, approach it and eliminate the outcome. Right? Just go for it. Work. Go to work. The thought of who we want to become should produce the feeling of it instantaneously. In other words, the thought of your future should produce the feeling that it already happened instead of the feeling of lack because it hasn't happened. How many people understand that? That's where your attention and your energy is spent. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what you believe in, it doesn't matter the color of your skin, what you eat, I don't care, it doesn't matter. You've seen it always. So then, the thought of our future, if we're doing this properly, should produce the feeling that it already happened. If the thought of your future produces the lack that it hasn't happened, you're still in your past, and nothing is going to change. And the truth is about life, the ones that really meet the greatest version of themselves, the ones that really live the greatest life, they never arrive. They understand life is not about arriving at a destination. Life is about progressing through the journey. I, I just really know how I think about things. For me, it's simply this is something that is important to get done and we should just keep doing it or die trying. I don't need a source of strength. Not my nature. I don't care about optimism or pessimism. Fuck that, we're gonna get it done. How do you overcome the suffering of life? Is be a better person. That's how you do it. Well, that's hard. It takes responsibility. And I think, you know, you said to someone, you wanna have a meaningful life? Everything you do matters. But everything you do matters. You're gonna have to carry that with you. There's all kinds of different ways to break. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and none of those are fun, and all of those are gonna leave a mark. But the mark that they leave 
can be the mark of victory or it can be the mark of defeat. And the only way you create a new flow is you start living in intentionality. Everything that you do is on purpose. Everything that you do is for purpose. Everything that you do is purpose. If there's no purpose in it, free yourself from it. Do you hear me? If there's no purpose in it, free yourself from it. If that relationship, that friendship, that partnership has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. That habit, if it has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. How you spend your time, if it has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. That environment, if it has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. Because when you don't live intentionally in your life, you do random stuff. And when you do random stuff, you get a random result. You've got to develop the mindset that I didn't come to take sides. I came to take over. I came to make an impact. I came so that you would remember my name. You see, this is not about narcissism. This is about destiny. It's about purpose. It's about developing something. Is becoming something stronger, better, more important. Something that you can leave a legacy with. Something that can echo long after the days of your jersey is taken off your back. Can you be something? Can you be more? You gotta have a mindset. I will struggle. I don't care how loud it gets, how difficult it gets. I'm not running from conflict. I'm great at it.